YouTube friends. I just want to give you a quick rundown of uh, the new amplifier I just completed. Uh, this is a Fender Tweed Deluxe, believe it or not, with uh, quite a different cabinet involved. Uh, uh, we've renamed this thing the uh, Zen Electric Convertible out of Concord, California. Uh, you can see a nameplate down here. And I'll tell you the reason why it's called a convertible. First of all, uh, this speaker box contains two speakers, not just one. And uh, one of them is a 10, one of them is a 12. And uh, I'll show you those uh, in an edit from here. Uh, each one can be played separately in turn or both together. And I'll demonstrate in a few minutes uh, some of the different sounds we get from doing that. Also, just for fun, I stuck a nice sheet of blue plexiglass in front of this to kind of augment, uh, at least in a low light environment, the orange glow of the uh, vacuum tubes in the back of the amp. Here around the back of the amp, you can very quickly recognize this is a standard uh, 5E3 chassis, and uh, you can also see along the way here the controls that I'll have set for the demonstrations today. I want to keep everything on eights as far as volumes are concerned. I'm not going to be demonstrating the interplay between the volumes. Have the tone on, what does that look like? 10.65 pi or something like that. Uh, the only uh, real modification that's been done to the sound of this amp is that the normal channel has been separated a la the uh, amp genius of the internet, uh, Rob Robinette. Uh, we've kind of put some other capacitors uh, in this first normal channel, split it off from the bright channel, and uh, plays a little bit more um, mid-tones rather than uh, heavy bass. So that helps my uh, Les Paul uh, perform a little bit better here. The original bright channel is just as, an, as uh, I suggest, it is a completely original 5E3, so that sound is not lost. Now, looking down below the amplifier head here, you can see coming out of the speaker area through a couple little holes are two jacks that go into the amp plugs, uh, the output plugs for the speakers, that is. And uh, the one on the left is a 10-inch speaker, the one on the right is 12. And you can very quickly see how these two are arranged right now. It's plugged in for both. Uh, the other part of the convertibility of this amp has to do with the back hatch to the speaker cabinet. When it's completely closed, there's sort of a latch here that uh, is just like a window latch. Nothing too fancy. And that opens and closes and seals the cabinet shut when it needs to be. And you can open the cabinet this way to uh, allow for a, uh, a ported situation. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down and start an edit so you can see the inside of the speaker box now. So inside the speaker cabinet you can see a string here, a nylon string with a little reinforcement that I've got that keeps the uh, back hatch from opening and closing too far. And you can also see that the amp uh, used this way has kind of a built-in amp stand in case you want to tip the amplifier up and be able to cast the sound up toward the walls or ceilings of a room in a tight playing situation. All right, so inside the cabinet, I'm going to just shove the camera up in there and see what we can see, is a, uh, looks like a new 12 series 10-inch uh, Jensen speaker. And uh, to the right is an eminence, actually they call it a uh, Fender um, speaker, but it's an eminence produced for them speaker. 12 inch that I took out of an old uh, Fender Ultra Chorus from the early 90s. Alright, so here are the three guitars that we'll be using for the demos today. On the left is a uh, Mexican made Fender Telecaster, and uh, it's completely original. Nothing fancy with the pickups, they're just the ones that the guitar came with. The only change I made to this instrument was the mother of toilet seat pick guard that I happen to like the looks of there. Uh, second is a 1973 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe Gold Top. Now this instrument also is completely original except for Grover tuners up here on the headstock which have been put on. Uh, they were also put on back in the 70s. Outside of that everything's original. All the wear and tear is mine. And uh, these uh, pickups are uh, mini humbuck pickups so you can hear what those sound like with a 5E3 circuit. I think there's a fairly good uh, pairing there. And then finally, a 1996 Fender Stratocaster of the Shoreline Gold variety. This is a Roadhouse Strat with those Texas Special pickups. Uh, also, again, all stock. The only change I made to this instrument was a little bit of wiring difference to make the fourth uh, knife switch position play the two outside pickups rather than two concurrent pickups. 
And I also set up the bridge so that it's a, a floating bridge rather than a fixed bridge. And uh, so that's what we'll be playing today in turn. Uh, the combinations between what the amp can do and three different guitars and all the pickups are going to be impossible to go into for, for all the possible combinations. So I'll just try to focus on some of the uh, uh, ones that I think sound better. And finally, to mic this amplifier, I'm going to be doing it with a shotgun mic a few feet away just to kind of give you a, an idea of what the speakers sound like and something a little bit better than a camera microphone. This is a bottom of the line Audio-Technica condenser mic with a battery, uh, just a one and a half volt battery is all it needs, uh, just to step up from what's on the camera. And uh, I aim to give you a little bit of ambient sound along with what comes out of the amplifier. Mm -hmm. 